Hello, London. And hello, world. Working for the United Nations makes me a global citizen and a really proud Nigerian. Every day, Nigerians in the house, every day I strive to serve humanity, ensuring that the voiceless can truly live a life of dignity. However, I wouldn't be here today without the love and inspiration of my mum, Margaret Wilson. <laughs> but also on the great African women on whose shoulders I stand. Grassa Michelle, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Wangari Matai, Ngozi Nkodjo Uwela, and maybe we just claim her as an African, Baroness Valerie Amos. <laughs> My journey has taught me that the only purpose of power is to serve with the courage of one's conviction that all people in the world have the rights that must be respected. Today, our world, and it's our world, is facing many crises. Climate change, inequality, injustice, conflict, and yet we have never had so much in our hands to make the world a more peaceful and prosperous place. Yeah, we should clap for that. <laughs> We even have a roadmap, the United Nations 2030 Agenda and the 17 Global Goals that aim to leave no one behind, especially our women and our youth. We've got 10 years to make them a reality and help to transform our world. And success really depends on all of us, and it cannot be business as usual. The status quo, is no longer acceptable to anyone. And I say we leaders at all levels, in all constituencies, be it business, civil society, government, you name it, must embrace the new era of change and deliver for people and for the planet. We must do that now. I'm humbled, really humbled, to accept this award, working for the United Nations and the world that we want. Thank you, Global Citizens. I'd like to give some special thanks to all of our partners and the Global Goals champions that are in the audience tonight. Richard Curtis, my brother of another mother, Sting, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> it's too famous. Hamdi Okaya, you rock this world with your brilliance, truly. <laughs> Special thanks to Hugh Evans and the wonderful team at Global Citizen, and also the Global Citizen community out here. Thank you for working towards these global goals. Your voice goes beyond advocacy, it helps us to secure concrete results and demonstrate what we can achieve when we hold our hands and we do this together. Thanks. Chris Martin, John Legend, Chiwetel, my brother, and all the other artists that are here tonight, your creativity is what lifts us to greater heights and the ambition that everyone deserves. My dear family, especially my six kids and my grand girl. <laughs> Friends that are here in the audience and, and way outside, always. Thank you for your support every moment of the day. That is 24-7, I know it and I appreciate it. My UN team that is here and the ones that are in New York and around the world in every one of the countries that the UN has a footprint. Thank you for everything that you do. And to all of you global citizens, one and all, the global goals and the world are counting on you. Let's try and do this together. Global citizens, yes, this is for you. Are you ready to lift the world? Yeah. Are you ready to lift the world? Thank you.